People have often asked me why we use granite and semi-precious stones as our massage stones. There's quite a few different reasons. Granite itself is very rich in feldspar and quartz. So this actually will hold the heat for a long period of time, which is wonderful. The other attribute is it's non-porous. Therefore, it won't pick up any dead skin cells off your client, so it's actually more hygienic. And the reason we have them handcrafted into these shapes is because it actually will assist you to go deeper into the muscles and create a better therapeutic result for your client. So that's why I absolutely love using granite. Basalt is often a stone that is used by many other therapists. I too love basalt. However, it has things that make it less desirable. The things like it's porous, so it will pick up the dead skin cells. So you need to scrub it in between clients, which makes it more time consuming. It also, unfortunately, will not hold the heat as long as granite does. So therefore, I have prefer to use granite whenever I'm working with them. The reason we use semi-precious is because those semi-precious stones have their own healing ability within them. Each stone represents an energy and a vibration that can create change in your client, but also yourself as a therapist when you're working with them. They're far more powerful and they will hold their heat a lot longer than granite even does. So that is another reason we use those semi-precious stones. This is our warm stone set or our hot stone set that we're going to be using. So I just wanted to break it down for you. This is your neck stone, which is actually a placement stone. And then we have our sacrum stone, which is also a placement stone. We also use what we call our teardrop as placement, but also as a working tool. We have four medium stones or palm stones. These are our working tools, as are the oblong stone. This is the thick oblong. And this is our thin. So that will work different areas of the body, which you will see in the video content. Can't forget the wonderful toe stones. We have eight toe stones. This is a mukite jasper. This will slip in between the toes. And that's our set. This is the stone heater you'll be using through your training. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the stone heater. It can carry up to six litres of water. But what we actually do, we make sure we've got a cloth in the bottom of our heater. Usually a lighter cloth, white or cream. And then we place our stones in, pour our water in on top of that, place our lid down. If we need to heat the stones very quickly, we can bring it all the way around to preheat and that will actually be ready in five minutes, but this will feel very hot. So personally, I prefer to heat it slower. So I usually have it in that little gap mark that you'll see on your heater. That's a good spot to put it on to heat the stones up slowly. Now you'll find with the lid on, it will heat quite well. When you're working, you need to have that lid off. The other aspect with this heater is when you finish for the day, you can actually grab the insert out and take it to your sink to wash your stones. So it's a lot easier for you than carrying the whole heater with you, which is wonderful. These handles here, they actually won't heat up but you do need to be mindful that the outside of the heater will get warm so be careful not to touch it or accidentally tap it with the back of your hand because it can get quite hot we use a scoop to get the stones out and we must keep an eye on the temperature so i just use a cooking thermometer 
So I just usually pop that in and that will tell me the temperature as I'm working with the stones. The best way to clean them also is when you've finished taking your stones out, I just use warm soapy water to clean around the inside and then I spray with tea tree oil. And that's really all you need to do. Mm -hmm.